Now once you start dosing organic carbon, as in no pox, or even bio pellets, then you want to start learning about what's called your red field ratio. So just do a bit of research on the red field ratio. The red field ratio is basically a balance of your phosphate versus nitrate versus organic carbon. And the funny thing about getting your red field ratio right is that when you get it right, it just, for some reason, your tank just seems to magically tick along. So it's really worth getting right. So um, reducing your nitrate and phosphate is normally the order of the day. And organic carbon is usually very good at reducing nitrate. But if your um, red field ratio is not right, then you may have trouble with it reducing phosphate. So if you... Um, need to get your phosphate down, you might, for example, stop dosing organic carbon for a while and dose phosphate remover to get the phosphate down. Once the phosphate's down, you then could go back to adding organic carbon again. If, on the other hand, you need to get nitrate or phosphate up, there are products you can use that individually raise nitrate or phosphate, but most people don't bother with that. Most people tend to just um, feed more. If you stop um, any nitrate or phosphate reducing products and just up your food for a while that's usually a very easy way of getting your nitrate and phosphate up then if you want to balance your, your um, red field ratio what you do then is get your phosphate level down before commencing the use of um, organic carbon anyway if you have any tips on this particular subject put a little note on the bottom of this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel